All right, brand new package just arrived. We have the Santa Evo 20S. Uh, it's come from an eBay seller in Western Australia. Now this uh, guy here does the best pricing on Santa Evos that I've found available. So I'm gonna rip it out and do an unboxing for you. And a bit of a review. I'll show you how it fits on my helmet as well. Now I held off buying a, a headset uh, from a helmet for quite a while because I just wanted the quality and these ones here have been raved about not only because they work so well but also because of the setup that you can do using smartphone app either on your iPhone or Android and all the additional features it can do like it's got Bluetooth 4.1 up to 2k radius which is about 1.2 miles um, eight-way intercom group intercom obviously connecting up with your music sharing and then having voice all that sort of thing as well and the firmware is upgradable so obviously new features or improvements come in the future from the engineers and gets rolled out here through the app so let's open up and have a quick look now there's cheaper ones in the market but you always believe and get what you pay for with these devices like i, I saw ones for hundred dollars and such like and i thought well maybe a hundred dollar one would be good for the passenger but if you're going to have a main control unit you want to get yourself a decent one plus also these would have awesome resale value um i wasn't able to find a second one in hand one anywhere so i know this one here is going to be good resale in the future if i need to plus i'll keep the package here as well all right let's have a look what we have it's like an experience isn't it all right here we go straight away okay build quality that's quite good plastic uh, i like on the 20s evo compared to 20s they actually have the usb port on the bottom instead of on the top uh, before I had it on the top apparently the water used to get in and ingress obviously you're going to have less trouble there these things here are probably water resistant not waterproof i don't know what the ip rating is uh, also with the 20S Evo compared to 20S, uh, the Nugget antenna is all built in together instead of being a flip up one, which is one less thing to be damaged or break. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the stuff they've got in here. Okay, so we've got speakers, which are apparently really good. Got the microphone built in there, which you can change as well. Uh, electronic connections there which go into electronic connections there yeah quite a good fit what else we got in the package we have oh awesome straight away i'm about to use that that goes straight into my power outlet on my motorbike charge one on the road and we've got a connection cable as well data connection what else we got in the box here user's guide, quick reference guide and this is what I needed to know but all the little bits and pieces to make it work on my helmet let's get this out of the way ok so what do they give us they give us additional connection ways they give us additional microphone caps uh, we've got different types of um, speaker covers and also maybe their spaces and paddings a little bit as well yeah there's additionally the different thicknesses and different helmets awesome that obviously goes around the uh, end of the um, speakers those ones there yeah they do they protect the speakers what else we got here a different type of boom mic fantastic so i have the shark helmet now i know that you can get the um, shark kit these but i wanted the evo 20s so i'll have that set up on the side here. All right, so we've also got the safety precautions and specifications in every language. That's obviously just a disclaimer for them to cover themselves. Uh, we got the setup instructions in Spanish, got it in French, got it in Italian, got it in German, and of course the rest this is English. Um, and also I've got the quick reference guide, so I might even just take a photo of that and save it on my phone. So I've always got a copy of it. That'll be helpful. Uh, what else we got here? Center, right connected, where to get started. Okay, so obviously this is a reduced quick start manual. 
I've had a look at the menu online, it's quite comprehensive, so they're just making reference in there to go to center.com forward slash documents to go and find the um, the right manual. And also update the product with the free with the latest firmware to enjoy the new advanced features built into this product since it's already come out. Um, also just found out there's actually a little microphone here too, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this microphone, this microphone, or this microphone. So probably this one here. This looks like the one to use. I guess I can hide that in there somehow. But um, I don't know if these are better quality or not. It doesn't say. Now they've got two ways to install this. Either you use the side clip here, which glues onto the, or glues slash stickies onto the side of the helmet, which would be like this. Let's see, that would fit in like that. Or we can go for the method of making a clamp and getting it to fit in the same spot. Uh, the only trick that I've got on my particular Shark brand helmet, if you can see, but it's very tight within there, then trying to undo it up with the Allen key at the end. That's the preferred method, and that's the way I'm going to try to go, and if not, we'll go for the sticky method. The free and stick is perfectly fine, like I've got on the side here, or some top, I've never had a trouble with them, um, but which one just make sure it's going to stay there in all circumstances. I don't intend to taking this on and off. I want it to be a permanent fixture. So let's see how we go. Take this off first. We'll get to that microphone because we're going to be putting on the the wide mic instead of the boom mic. So we'll undo that. Turn the little bit on the end and just make a pop out like that. Put in the wide mic. That wide mic. Let's be so careful, these wires are so thin. Alright, it's got a little clip on that side first you go undo. So you put the clip down, push it down into the socket, make sure it's seated, then roll it around. Okay, that's a good system. That works well. Now I want to try to slip this on with these on, this clip on a little bit, just so we've got it all held together. Now we've got a little bit of gap, gapage there, I'll haul that. Alright, so let's see how we go. I want to put it right about here, right up there. If this is going to allow me to get it in there, let's slip it into it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that fits well. I like that because it's going to be fitted properly, not seated. So it has like an area that needs to be seated and cleared. Let's see how we go here with the installation of the bolts. So it's such a tight little area here to work with. Um, I don't really want to pull this part together. This has like a whole system which allows a, a, a drop down rain jacket to pop out. It's a good system. It's built into this shark helmet. Uh, but I want to make sure that that's not going to be too obstructed, so I'm off there and not bringing back the cords through here. So I'm just going to do, do up these Allen, Allen key bolts. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be so much better than using the, the sticky free end pads. Plus you can move it around. If I find that I don't like it exactly where it is, I might want to move it back a little bit or forward. I've got that flexibility. Yep, that's on nice and tight. That's on really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, now let's get the microphone set up. So I want to make sure that I can still use on these Shark Explorer helmets. Because more adventure slash sports bike helmet. They have this neck raincoat. And I haven't had to use it, and I've got other things I could use instead. But it's built into my helmet. I want to but I have that access if I need to, we have to worry about wires being in the way. So that's going to be my challenge now, is getting them routed possibly up through there. And is that going to be long enough to still get the front? We still have a fair bit of play, so I think we should be able to, because we can get to the front and mouth there. Uh, these constantly have like a Velcro type pad that I'll be sticking it with. Wow, okay, we have a little gap there. Fantastic, so I just found a little gap under here, which we can use for the microphone to go through. 
be very delicate. Get that under there. Done. So I was able to get it to come into the front. Uh, I have like a little down bit that I connect up my GoPro to sometimes. Connects up into that and comes out, connects onto my GoPro on the front. A bit more additional security for it. I've never had to use it. It's never gone 100 mile an hour, but it's got that option. Alright, let's do these speakers. Yeah, where are these speakers? There is a recess. I don't know if we. Oh, look at this. Perfect. <laughs> this helmet actually has the holes there ready to go. Shark do make a headset, which, which a friend of mine's got. Um, so he was able to slip straight in, but I can think that's going to be perfectly fine. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, these are the same length, as long as they can both fit. Do they, do they have a left and right? They don't have a left and right. How do you know which one's left and which one's right? Left and right channel. I suppose once you've got them in, you'll tell. There's guitars and such, I think, are normally on the right channel. If it's a stereo, it is a stereo. I'm just going to go off this side here. That's left, that's right, because that's on this side and that's on that side. And, yeah, look at that. That's how you tell. One's longer than the other. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, same way as before. Am I going to be able to get access through there? Possibly up through there again? Yeah, that's where we go. So let's do that. I'll just slip that aside. So these just take a little bit of working out. get them to fit in the right spot. I suspect a job like this would take about an hour for most people. More or less depending on your skill level. Like I've never done this before but I do own an IT business and I do have fix a lot of computers so I've sort of had my hands in a lot of different technical things but never in a helmet. Maybe a little while I go back to there and get there. Last thing I want to do is have the wire dropping down. I think there's actually little things you can, you've got here to keep the wires hidden away and such, so we'll find out what that is in a minute. So where's this one going to be? Let's just get in there first. And we can decide where it goes. Get the Bluetooth module on and off. Obviously just slips on. It's got like a little slider bit there. Clips on like that. It snaps into place, nice and tight. Get it off, push that button. Way it goes. Right, let's try this thing on. I want to check this, make sure that the ears are still going to sit in the right spot. If I've used those pads too thick or too thin, I'll find out in a second. Just put them on. Oh, okay, we have an issue straight away. Those pads, I've got to go for the thinner ones because that's pushing right up against my ears straight away. I can feel on both sides. So, no, that's got to change. I think the thinner ones are probably going to be too thick even. So let's have a look. So the thinner ones are half as thick. So let's just go for the thinner ones just to try it out. So it's just a bit of mackering around until you get these things right. Customised in your way. But once you've got them set, you'll get years of good life out of it. We should just spend the time to make sure it's fine. You don't have to keep looking back and adjusting it. This is one less thing you have to worry about then. Yeah, that's how it's better. You feel already. It's just more flush in there. But you don't know unless you try. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, I've got plenty of room in there. That's going to be well. The sound's going to be right on my ears. 